This is a global warming test. It involves the uh, record high temperatures in Alabama and a few other places. The recent IPCC report uh, published in 2007 has a technical summary. There's a box, TS5, which talks about extreme weather events. People affected by extreme weather events often ask whether human influences on the climate are responsible for the event. A wide range of extreme weather events is expected in most regions, even in an unchanging climate. It is difficult to attribute any individual event to a change in the climate. However, the authors of the IPPC technical summary say that uh, simple statistical reasoning indicates that substantial changes in the frequency of extreme events can result in a relatively small shift in the distribution of a weather or cli uh, climate variable. Since the third IPCC report, the observational basis of analysis of extremes has increased substantially so that some extremes now have been examined over most land areas. Some assessments still rely on simple reasoning about how extremes might be expected to change with global warming. So, how have uh, some extremes changed over the land area known as Alabama? Have we set new high temperature records? Why don't you take this test, get a piece of paper, and I'll ask you 10 questions. Question number one. The highest temperature recorded in January in Alabama was 88 degrees Fahrenheit. When did it occur? 1898-2003. The highest temperature recorded in February in Alabama was 89. When did it occur? 1909. 2006. The highest temperature recorded in March in Alabama was 94 degrees Fahrenheit. When did it occur? 1916? 2006. The highest temperature recorded in April in Alabama was 98 degrees Fahrenheit. When did it occur? 1894? 2004. Question 5. The highest temperature recorded in May in Alabama was 105. Did it occur in 1964? 2004. Now there was a 30-year period when the highest temperature for each year was a greater than 101 degrees Fahrenheit. Did that occur from 1890 to 1919? or from 1974 to 2003. Now the highest temperature ever recorded in Alabama was 112. Did it occur in 1925? 2005. The highest temperature recorded in the United States was 134. Did it occur in 1913 or 2004? The highest temperature recorded in Europe was 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Did it occur in 1881 or 2001? The highest temperature recorded in the world was 136. Was that back in 1922 or was it in 2003? The correct answers are all A's. All the B's are incorrect. If you got five of the ten right, you would have done just as well by flipping a coin. Now here's the list of all the months uh, where we've had record high temperatures and record low temperatures. 
you can see uh, in, 19, in August, uh, record high temperature was 109, and it occurred in the year 2000. The record cold temperatures are on the right-hand side, and the coldest that it's ever been in Alabama is minus 27, and that occurred back in 1966. If you take the years and average them for the record highs, you get an average of a, uh, 1935. If you take all the record highs and average them. If you take all the record lows and average them, you get an average year of 1965. Here's a graph that uh, Dr. John Christie, our Alabama state climatologist, uh, made, which shows the general uh, trend in summer temperatures, one value for uh, each year from 1893 to 2007. And you can see a slight downward trend in temperature for the summer maximum temperatures. So in conclusion, I could say that except for two months, all the record high temperatures in Alabama have occurred before 1965. That's 10, 10, 10 records occurred before 1965. And for the record low temperatures, Except for three months, all the temp record lows have occurred after 1965.